Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Prevent Concurrent Logins feature that was recently released in Lifter LMS version 5.6.0. So if you don't see these settings we talk about in this video, make sure to head to Dashboard Updates on your WordPress site and make sure there's not a Lifter LMS update uh, sitting there because that update 5.6.0 is what includes this feature. So to find the Prevent Concurrent Logins feature, we're gonna to head to Lifter LMS Settings and then accounts right here at the top. And here you'll see this prevent concurrent logins checkbox. And so it's going to only allow the most recent login from each user account. And if I check that box, we have a drop down here to select the user roles that logins, concurrent logins will be prevented for. So I might select student, subscriber. I could select a few roles here. Now maybe I'd want to leave admins in a situation where admins could be logged in in multiple places. You know, if I'm an admin on the website, I want to be logged in here and I also want to be logged in on my laptop. So I'm not going to add admins right here. This is mostly a problem for students. So let's go ahead and save changes and then see this setting in action. So let me go to users, add new. I'm going to create a test user we can work with. Here's my password. I'll need to remember that. And then we'll set them as a student and add this new user. So now let me go to my website and log in in an incognito window. So this is going to be a logged out view. So I have my admin logged in here and then I'll log in as a student over here. Let me get my password and my email was help at lifterlms.com plus one, two, three. All right, cool. So if I log in here, I'm logged into the website and I'm good to go. But let me also go log in on Safari. So let me copy this URL and then we'll be help plus one, two, three at lifterlms.com, let me get my password. All right, so if I log in here, I'm logged into the website, but now if I go back to my window over here, I'm gonna get logged out. There we go. So uh, only one of my browsers can be logged in at a time. And this won't affect you if you have multiple tabs open. So for example, if I'm in Safari here and I have multiple tabs, it'll be totally fine for me to have multiple tabs open, you know, I just can't be on separate browsers and I can't be on like separate computers or else it'll log the oldest version out. So that's how the prevent concurrent logins feature works. This is just one hurdle to make it a bit more cumbersome for people to be sharing passwords.